So today I'm going to take you through our solar energy setup for the van. So firstly we're going to start off with the solar panel which is a 100 watt Renogy suitcase solar panel and it comes in this nice protective case. So then you unzip it. And then it sort of opens out. A golden suitcase, and then the arms. Come out here. And then you turn it round. It rests on the ground. And then you attach it using this lead. So the solar panel is connected to the charge controller by these two wires. This is a 40 amp MPPT charge controller. The main reason I went for the MPPT over the PWM is because it's 30% more efficient so you just get more power for the same amount of input. Then it runs through these two wires to the 50 amp fuse. From there we run to the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now this is a 12 volt system. So we have to transfer the 12 volt energy into 240 volt power to run appliances from the house. I went for the pure sine wave inverter because it's more efficient when you're running appliances off it so you get more power for longer. So hopefully you can see in there the 240 volt plug sockets for the household appliances. From there it runs to the 12 volt fuse box and this is basically what everything runs off. Now we need some way of storing all this power so we run it through the 200 amp fuse to the Renogy 100 amp hour battery. This is a lithium ion phosphate battery, it's a lot more expensive but it is better quality. The problem with lead acid batteries and AGM batteries is that you can only run them down to 50% but this you can run down all the way and it has 4000 charge cycles out of it rather than the 400 to 600 that you get in the other batteries. This is the control panel for the solar charge controller. It just gives you all the information that you need for how much uh, watch you've had in the day and how much you're getting at one time. You just flick through, pick the information that you need and it comes in useful. And last but not least, this is where we run all our stuff from. It comes from the 12 volt fuse box and it's just USB connectors. So you can charge your phone, your Garmin's, anything you need to charge. Just slot it in, we run the lights off it also and it comes in really handy when you're away. Right, hope you enjoyed that. Keep your eyes out for more content on van life on this channel and if you liked it please subscribe and leave any comments you have below.